Hello, I came across an article a couple of days ago in the Gothenburg Post, that's the local paper, Göteborg's Posten. It raises fundamental questions about Swedish administration and legal practice. Here's the article, it shows a young couple, obviously quite well set up. After nine years in Sweden, on Tuesday, the family will be expelled. Nine years ago, the Orav Chanin family came from Serbia to Sweden. The children have gone to school here. The parents have worked and the family have got themselves a home, which looks like a nice one, doesn't it? And dreams of the future. During Tuesday, the family expect to be expelled. So the family's gone now, presumably. I didn't follow up the details because I don't think the newspaper's worth paying good money to read. Also, I wouldn't like to comment on the particular case, but they seem to be a sort of hard-working, regular family, just the kind of thing the country needs. But there are some general points. Firstly, why throw out a settled family? Secondly, there's the question of Yugoslavia. It's been the territory of a three-way contest for the past thousand years between Catholics, Orthodox Christians and Muslims. And the latest of the conflicts was, of course, at the breakup of Yugoslavia. The conflict is like Northern Ireland on steroids, so a return to Yugoslavia could be difficult for the family. You don't want to be in the wrong part of the country with the wrong religion. I've come across a few similar cases. In particular, Christian refugees have had a rough deal from the authorities. Muslim converts are put through hoops to test if their conversion is genuine. They're asked stupid, trivial pursuit-type questions which most Christians couldn't answer. I've heard of other expulsions of settled families from Sweden, families who have been here for up to a decade. There's something strange going on. My guess is that those people who are falling foul of the system like this are those who have failed to navigate the Swedish bureaucracy. Perhaps they haven't filled in the forms correctly or sent them in by some deadline date and they don't get the benefit of the doubt either. Court and legal decisions are made by a sort of three-man jury called Nemdemen. It's an ancient practice. It probably comes from the Middle Ages. The theory is that people are judged by their peers with a similar background, but the problem is that these Nemdemen are sponsored by political parties. So that immediately compromises impartiality, doesn't it? It gets worse because of the influx of migrants into Sweden from conflict zones over the past 30 years. People don't leave the conflict behind them. The conflict is imported. We saw this in 2015. There was a big demonstration by Christians from Iraq and Assyria against ISIS. It's increasingly the case that Party politics are dividing on ethnic and religious lines. It's enshrining the conflict into Swedish politics. It isn't just a Swedish problem. I gather something similar has happened and is happening in Britain. When jury members are effectively sponsored by political parties, impartiality goes out of the window. Justice is then no longer blind. The system needs to be changed, and quickly. What formerly guaranteed justice is now becoming a threat to human rights and to justice itself.